are going to go through the basics of the terminal. All right, so the terminal is awesome, all right? Um, you're going to be using it every day for your personal and professional development, all right? And if you don't, you're going to get slapped by me or somebody else that loves you, all right? So let's dive into this. So let's open up our terminal. So two ways of doing this. The first one is you can open up your Finder, go into Applications, and scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you will see this folder called Utilities. Open that up, scroll to the bottom again, and you'll see the terminal app. You'll double click that and you can launch it from there. Uh, the second way of doing this is just the hotkey, command space on Mac. Start typing in the name of the app and you can just click enter. Okay, that's what I like to do. Let's zoom up on this so you can see a little bit what I'm doing here. So there's a couple of things that we're gonna be uh, going through uh, today. The first one that I wanna do is changing directories. And there's another one that kind of goes hand in hand with that, and it's uh, listing out items in a directory. Now, think of a directory as a folder or a location on your computer, okay? Um, and we use a terminal to navigate through locations or through folders on our computer. So to do that, um, I'm going to bring up a finder window here so you can kind of get a visual of what's going on here, okay? So right now, you can see that this says Jason Brewer. It has this cute little house here. So that means I'm at home base, all right? See this? See the house? See my name? Yep, that's where I live. Okay, so this is where I'm at. Now, to change a directory, you're going to simply type in CD, okay? And then you're going to name the location that you want to go to. So in this case, I want to get to my desktop. So I'm going to hit desktop, okay? Cool. Now, did you see this change here? Okay, so now it's telling us that we're on the desktop, okay? And if we type in ls, which lists out the items uh, there, you'll see that I have three folders, wallpapers, bunch of stuff, and first directory. So we are going to navigate into this first directory. So to do that, cd first, and I'm going to auto-complete it, okay? I, did, I hit tab, which will auto-complete the path if the path exists, okay? In this case, my folder exists, so I could hit tab on it. Okay, so I'm going to click enter, and then let's see what's inside of there. LS, you can see that I've got three files, and uh, if we got, come into first directory, you'll see that I have the index, main, and second directory. Do you see that? Index, main, second directory. So we just changed our directory into that first directory that I had listed out. Now let's dive into the second directory. So we can, actually it's going to be, uh, yeah, CD. Second, autocomplete, I hit tab again. Enter, ls. Now you can see that I've got more files in here, right? So I've got another HTML, cool CSS, and a third directory. Ooh, I wonder what's in that third directory. Should we go? Let's do it. CD, third, uh, autocomplete. And list out the items. We have fun cats and the best HTML. So really easy, right? Really easy how to change directories. Now. I just taught you how to go from the first level and just kind of go deeper and deeper, all right? So how do you go back? So we're all the way into the third directory, right? That's where we are, see, third directory. So how do we go back? So to change directory, we do cd dot dot dot, okay? Two dots, cd space dot dot, and that helps us go back. Now you can see that we're in the second directory, okay? So we just went backwards. So we're in the second directory. And you can do it again. Oops, forgot the space there. See, it says that it's not found. It's gonna catch you if you make a mistake there. So now we're back into the first directory. Very cool, and again, we can, uh, oops, change in weird things there. We can list out the items and see that's where we're at. And our terminal is going to indicate that we're there. Now, if we want to get back to home base, we can type one simple command, cd, took us home. So that puts you at the root level, the very, very beginning. If you're like way deep into a folder and you just need to get back and start from the beginning, just type cd and it'll get you back from, to the start. All right, and then we can hit clear and that just cleans up our terminal. All right, so I just showed you how to change directories and to list out the items in there, okay? now. 
you don't have this folder on here, right? So why don't we do this? Why don't we go ahead and create a folder, okay? So the next thing we're obviously gonna cover is creating directories. So I'm gonna come onto my desktop. So again, you can get a visual of this. Now, so let's navigate onto our desktop, okay? So now we're on our desktop. So let's create our first directory, all right? So to do that, we simply type in M I or MKDIR. That's for make directory. Now we're gonna name the file. Um, let's call this website one, okay? Awesome, see how this folder just appeared? Now, how are we gonna uh, navigate to change directories into that folder? Simply CD website one. So now we're inside and there's nothing there. So make dir, M-K-D-I-R makes a folder. Now, how do we make files in this, okay? I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> so to make a file, we're gonna type the word touch and then the name of the file. So let's make an index.html file. Cool. Now if we come into websites, you can see that we have a HTML file. Now we can do this again and type in like a CSS file. And if you wanted to go crazy, you could even type in like a uh, another file on there say a JavaScript file. Look, I just created, oh, I created a, a wrong file here. Um, okay, I'm gonna go in here, rename it from here. I'm gonna show you how to do this in the terminal later, uh, but we're not there yet. All right, tight, got it fixed. Okay, so now we've learned how to make files, right? So we made an index file. We learned that we can do multiple uh, files at once. All right, so now, Let's uh, let's go ahead and while we're in here, create another directory. Oops. And we're gonna call this uh, just webmaster, okay? And then let's come into that folder. And let's make some files. We'll make an HTML file and a CSS file. Okay, now if we come into our webmaster, we got those files, right? Cool. So let me uh, let's let's copy files now and move files. All right. So let's uh, let's come back to our website one, and to do that, remember how to do that? Just cd dot dot. That helps us go back a level. So we're in webmaster cd dot dot, and now look, we're back into website one, right here with these uh, with these files. See that? Okay. So say we want to take our main JS and we want to move it into our webmaster uh, folder, okay? So to move a file, you type in MV and the name of the file. So we're going to move our main.js. Ah, I didn't even tell it where to go. So let's try this again. So this is cool. If you're, if you're doing incorrect commands, the, uh, the terminal is going to yell at you and it's gonna tell you so. So it's telling me that I need to give it a directory to go to. So let's try this again. So we're gonna move the main.js uh, file and we're gonna put it into our webmaster folder. All right, sweet, now it worked, I love it. All right, and you can see that we got the, uh, the file moved there. Now, what if we wanted to actually uh, copy, let's see, what's the name of our CSS file? We've got another CSS, so. Let's copy this file now. So that's how you move a file, okay? Now to copy a file, you're gonna do copy, and let's do the main.css, and again, you have to name the location where you want it to go to. All right, so we are copying the main CSS file to our webmaster, okay? All right, and if this works, check that out. We've got the main.css in there. Cool, I like it. Um, all right, so we're in the website one. So I wanna go up a level and we're gonna come into the webmaster. Okay, so we've got these files. Now there's another th cool thing that you can do with this MV command, with this move command. It's kind of interesting, uh, but you can use this to actually rename files as well. So check this out. Let's uh, do MV and we wanna take our main.js file and name it to the super main.js file, okay? And it didn't work. Where are we at? We're in the webmaster. And 
Ah, you see that? You gotta pay attention where you're at. I was in the webmaster location folder, okay? And I was trying to rename a main.js file. We'll check this out. We don't even have a main.js file. Oh heck, dude, I'm creating a, f a file here, main.js. Okay, cool, so we got it here. Oh, that's weird to put it over that. All right, so anyways, uh, let's do this. So now we're gonna do mv, we've got a js file here, and now let's name it to our super main.js. Ready? Cool, just changed right before our eyes. Pretty neat, right? All right, now this thing's getting a little bit cluttered and somewhere along the line I accidentally created a website. One file did something, but let's go over how to delete uh, things. And there's a couple of different ways. You can delete files, delete folders, or delete a folder with a bunch of files in it. It's different commands for all of them. So first, let's clean up this, uh, uh, this website one folder, okay? So to delete a file, type in rm, and then the name of the file. All right, cool, and it's gone. Now, one thing to note, when you are removing or deleting items through the terminal, it is permanent, there is no going back. Unlike on your desktop or in a finder, moving an item to the trash can, it's in the trash can. But when you do this through the terminal, it is nuked, it is gone, and you will not be able to retrieve it. So be very, very careful when you are removing files, folders, or folders with uh, files in it uh, because you can't get it back, all right? So we just removed a file here, and uh, now, uh, and, and same thing, uh, you can remove multiple files uh, if you wanted to on the same line. Okay, pretty cool, right? And now that we know how to remove files, let's remove a folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a directory. Okay, delete me, okay? This is an empty folder, okay? So to remove a folder, you're gonna type in rm dir, okay? And then the name of the folder. All right, and it nuked it, it's gone, okay? Now, what if I tried to do that on this folder that had these files in it? If I did rm and then the webmaster, it won't do it, unless I spelled it wrong. Jeez, I spelled that goofy, didn't I? Ha, <laughs> let's try it again. All right. And it says that it couldn't do it, directory not empty. So to remove a full directory, you're gonna do rm um, dash capital R and then the name of the folder. Now, when you do this, be 100% sure that you do not need this folder or anything in it because your project will be gone. All right, so rm space dash capital R, the name of the folder, and it's gone. Ever. We can't get it back. Hopefully there wasn't anything important in it. Fortunately not in this, uh, this example. Um, so yeah, that's it. That is the, the basics of the terminal. So we learned how to change the directory, how to navigate throughout our computer, how to create folders, create files, move them, copy them, and delete files, folders, and folders with items. So that wraps it up. That is the basics of the terminal. I hope you learned a ton. Um, feel free to go experiment a little bit, uh, creating directories, deleting them, adding files, and all that fun jazz. And um, that's it. That's a wrap.